Hello everyone, this is Tormuse, and I'm picking up my Diablo 2 game, Hardcore Mode, featuring Saucy the Sorceress. Um, yeah, we're going into Act 2 now, so let's talk to yes. where we even go east. I think it's going to be a cutscene, or maybe not. Oh, hello there. <clears throat> Jaren wants to talk to me. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lutkalane and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange. It all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, the ke Talrasha Keeper of Baal is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I have ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can invite you in. Things are uh, rather a mess right now. So here we are, we moved from forest to desert. <clears throat> uh, let's get that mini map back there. And, um, yes. Because I can talk to folks. <laughs> Azix is quite a scoundrel, but I like him all the same. <laughs> uh, anyone else have anything interesting to say? That's Farah. I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of the Zakarum in the Eastern Kuras Temple many years ago. Okay, so she's... I have to get my bearings because, again, it's been a while. Like, cause I, I, I know I keep saying that, but... Yeah, so she's... I believe she's the one that, that offers healing, and she also can repair equipment and uh, sell you stuff. Hey, this... I've never seen that. I haven't seen that come up before. Oh, hey. New armor. Um, it's okay, this requires 44 strength. I've got 41 right now. I'm not too far away from being able to use the scale mail, you know. And the chainmail cost it takes 48. I, what do I know? I would I would I would have thought that the chainmail would be less than ring uh, scale mail. I don't know. I've got ring mail right now. Um, 48, 44. How how uh, how strong is my little helper? Oh, hey. Oh, no. Where's Alexa? No. Sorry, I have to go back and find Alexa. Um, uh, yo, where are you? Um, you might take me back across the thing again. No, you're Jaren. Where's Worry? Oh, now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. Good day. Yeah, just 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 for a moment. Just wanna. Hello again, Outlander. Word of your great exploits in the east has reached us even here. Wow, I, I haven't <laughs> even done anything yet. But uh, thanks. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna have to be a, a short session, by the way, because um, um. Yeah, I don't have much time before I have to go to bed. Uh, but I wanted to get a session in because I, I've... Um, hey, the Glade Waypoint. Okay, so Sewers Level 2 is where the first uh, waypoint of Act 2 is. Um, trap door. At least this says Grease. But you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on about in the desert. Well, I can tell you that's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're on the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to keep keep the peace around here. We're not cheap. We're the bestest wasteland has to offer. Need some help? So yeah, he's uh, he, he's where I want to go if I want to hire a replacement for Alexa, which I don't want to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out how, how strong is Alexa. Strength forty eight. She can wear the um. The, the chain mail. I was like, oh, that's the guy that uh, Decker Kane said he liked. Hmm, you look like a sturdy adventurer. 
You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I let the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorize these sands. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. My days of adventuring are behind me. Hello. Okay, so here's the guy that does the gambling stuff. Uh, I got 29,000 gold. Um, I might just want to save up and get myself an amulet or a ring. We'll see. Oh, here you are. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please be careful, though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trap door just up the street. All right. Find Radiment's Lair in the Lutgulane sewers. Okay. In town. Oops, wrong button. Um, and there's, this is the last guy I haven't talked to, I think. Welcome, young sorceress, to Lutgulane. I hope your skills are a match for the horrors that lie beyond the city's walls. A mage of your limited experience may find the evil too great to withstand alone. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. This is guy. Okay. He sells potions, right? Yeah, like magic stuff. Oh yeah, all the magic stuff. Hey, battle staff. Ooh. Huh. It's very expensive. Requires level 15. Hmm. Requires level 18. Gnarled Staff of the Bear. <laughs> yeah, these, are, these are all... Uh, yeah, it's 4 to 12, 6 to 13. Okay, so the, so the Battle Staff is better than the Gnarled Staffs. <laughs> these all require pretty high levels. One has three sockets in it. But again, if, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get something, I want to get something um, I want to get something objectively better, and I I think I, I might as well leapfrog over the gnarled staff to get the battle staff, because that seems to be better. But not just now. Uh, I'll come back to him later. And I would I better go into the sewers, or I'm gonna like use up this whole session here. Down I go. Uh, okay. Now. One thing that's going to make this um, make this a little difficult is uh, I just got a new mouse today. The mouse that I've been using for the last ten years—I don't know, longer than that—it's been oh, it's been close to like fifteen years. Uh, I I've been using this mouse for the, the previous mouse for a long time, um, and the mouse wheel just died, um, like. I mean, it started uh, it started acting up. Like, uh, where is everybody? Why are there no monsters down here? Oh, here you go. Oh, oh, there. Ooh, they poison you. Um. Oh yes, you gotta watch out for those poison clouds over the over the dead bodies. Um, yeah, whoa. As I was saying, um, hey. Oh, hello. Sorry, getting distracted. Um, <laughs> Hunter's bow. Oh, hey. Okay, does a fair bit of damage per hit. Um, oh, socketed Hunter's bow. What was your bow like? Four to eight. This is two to six. Uh, 
Even if I uh, improve it, I think I'd rather... Um, I'd rather start with a bigger or better bow. If I could turn it into like a, a rune word bow, that would be neat. Anyway, um, I keep getting distracted and not not finishing my my uh, story here. Yeah, like uh, having tr issues with the. Uh, ah, damn it. Trying to, uh, didn't realize I still had the, um, the armor, uh, the shiver armor, uh, readied. Um, oh, I, I pushed two trying to use the potion in the slot there, but there's no potion there. that poison um, right um, let's identify it plus we strength hey uh, yeah so it, it the, the mouse wheel started acting up like it started like moving when I wasn't moving it and then uh, like periodically dying, like cutting out and coming back again. And I just, uh, yeah, I just gave up on it entirely today. And, uh, uh, I got myself a new mouse. And this new mouse, for whatever reason, has a lot higher sensitivity than the previous one, like a lot higher. And, uh, you know, which is fine because you can just, you know, um, like, like I, I adjust sensitivity in, in Windows settings, but uh, it's uh, apparently in this this awkward state of like one point high is like like way overly sensitive, and one point lower is not sensitive enough, and uh, um, three to ten. Four to eight. This is this has higher average damage, except uh, no, no, it doesn't because this is has fire damage. Uh, anyway, um, let's, let's throw these away. We don't intend to use these. Um, yeah, still exploring. Don't like being as low on potions. Oh, hey, there's a mini boss in there. Until everyone's dead. That's that, that's the strategy of choice. <laughs> um, yeah, she's fine. Um, oh yeah, I leveled up. So yeah, so this the sensitivity. I I, I decided to go in to go for the, sen the sensitivity level, which is slightly too high. Because uh, if, it's, if it's too low, it just feels sluggish. If it's too high, maybe I'll just maybe I can get used to it. But I keep missing where I'm trying to click, uh, which is a little troubling. Um, so okay, um, if I reach 48 strength, it looks like I um, I can get some better armor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my strength. And uh, what can I upgrade here? What should, I, what should I be heading towards? I'm at level 15. So then I'm going to unlock the level 18 level stuff. Target character minion adds fire damage to a melee weapon. Adds one third fire damage to ranged weapons. Fire wall creates a wall of flame that blocks and burns your enemies. Blaze creates a, a, a wall of fire in your wake to scorch your enemies. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I like to keep things versatile and. Um, you know, 
things they can use to, to adapt to different strategies, different situations. Summons a meteor from the heavens to crush and incinerate your enemies. Uh, fire mastery. Okay, it's passive fire. Uh, just overall fire. 30, plus 30 damage to all fire damage. Uh, fire, ah, fire spells. Um, lightning, I don't care so much for on its own, but the chain lightning could be interesting. So I might get that eventually. Um, telekinesis I'm indifferent about. Teleport could be interesting. It's the most destination within your line of sight. That sounds like it could be very useful down the line. Like, it could be like a life-saving thing. Um, and this one here, Energy Shield, creates a magical shield that consumes mana instead of health when you take damage. So that, that could also be a life-saving thing. So there, there's life-saving things down the, or down the line here. Nova... I already got the Frost Nova. I don't care so much about that. Thunderstorms and the deadly thunderstorm that strikes your enemies with bolts of lightning. Yeah. And lightning master, you can cold uh, spells. Let's see. Glacial spike. It's magical ice comet that freezes or kills nearby enemies. Blizzard. Haha. -ha. They had to name a spell after themselves. Uh, summons massive shards of ice to destroy your enemies. Uh, frozen orb. This is a magical globe that sprays a torrent of ice bolts to lay waste to your enemies. Chilling armor. Oh, okay, so it's the step up from the uh, shiver armor. Increases defense and discharges an ice bolt in retaliation against ranged attackers. Hey, that's neat. I'm gonna head to that eventually. And cold mastery, of course. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, there are all kinds of things I could be interesting to head towards eventually, but for right now, for right now, uh, might as well upgrade what I'm per currently using. Um, Using Fireball a fair bet. So let's upgrade Fireball. There you go. There you go. the stairway to level two there. To Luke Lane. Oh, okay. I need mana. Well, being out of mana potions is probably just as well if I, uh, uh oh, look out. Don't just stand there. Uh. Out of mana potions I'm and, um, and the entrance to Luke Lane is right here. Might as well head back. There's one, someone else here I haven't talked to yet. Greetings, I'm Mishif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport and Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. My ship is your ship. Yeah, this is just, uh... Yeah, it's just... He's just there to, uh, so I have somewhere to go at the end of the act, just like where he took me from, took me, uh, took me here to act two, and he takes me into act three. Uh. Any, oh yeah, I can wear all this armor now. Hmm. It's expensive. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get it, I, oh hey. New belt. 
I already have a rare belt. Um, is this the one which has... Um, has four, I don't think this is the one that has, has four levels of, of uh, I, uh, you know, potion uh, in uh, capacity. Um, it's been oh, 51 or strength. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm I am now strong enough to wear chainmail, which defense 82. I suppose. Look, okay, so that like doubles the defense. So maybe I'll go gamble for some chainmail. Here we go, chainmail. Oh, this takes up two thirds of my. So better be good. What do we got? Plus nine to life. Eh. Seventy-two armor. Oh well, it'll do, I guess. So there's 62. Yeah, so I mean, it's an improvement over this. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's 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 fine. Okay, and back into the sewers again. Uh, again, limited time. Um, can't keep going too much longer, but. Um, Whoops. Uh, okay, there you go. I want to at least find the uh, waypoint, if nothing else. Even if I don't f um, find Mr. Radamond. Hehehe. <laughs> how these little minor healing potions are getting mixed in there. Uh, I don't, like, it's not that urgent yet, I don't think, but, you know, at some point, I don't want to find myself in a situation where I'm counting on a little more healing, and, uh, there's the waypoint. Counting on a little more healing, and, um, only have a minor healing potion there. Yeah, so Radmuth is down here somewhere. I think he's in the sewer, level three of the sewers. Huh. Where'd you come from? Shouldn't have had a chance to sneak up behind me. Was there another path here? Oh, so there is. Shrine? Okay. Ah, oh, dead end. Would you stop that? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. This way, I guess? Keep 
firing. <laughs> Ooh, boots. Are those surveyor boots? And what's this? Oh, is this the cold shrine? Yeah. You no longer fear cold. I haven't seen any cold using enemies, but sure, I'll take it, I guess. Or just poison trying to be more useful around here, I think. Oh well. Ooh. Once in a while they ah, damn it, don't click out of the window. Uh Every once in a while, they do some extra damage, and I'm like, whoa, half my health gone. What's going on here? Just keep pelting them with fireballs. <laughs> You know, if they're shoot shooting fire arrows, um, resist fire shrine would have been useful too. It's kind of silly that there's a resist cold shrine there. Oh well. Oh, poor cows. Healing potion. How much do those heal? Oh, I have, have to be out of there. Heals 100 hit points. What's my max health, health again? 140. I didn't realize they'd gotten that high. That's pretty cool. Uh, ah, there you go. Pretty sure Vadiman is down here. Or he might be on level 4. I don't know. Yeah, this is about uh, as late as I intended to stay up, so I need... Oh, Amy. It's a new guy. Ooh. I think that's, uh, that's Radiment there. to wear that ring that boosts my uh, attack rating. What was that? Something's... Doesn't do any significant damage to me. even doing anything to him. It didn't look like he was taking much damage. Go away. I'm trying to pick on Radovan here. Out of the way. Now I'm getting hit by cold, now that I'm, I, uh... <laughs> now that the, uh, there's this cold shrine is worn off. Okay, so that was my goal, that was my target there. Um, cold didn't seem to do much to him. Um, I'm gonna get some mana potions and hit, try to hit him with some, some fire. Good day! 
It is a good day. So these are lowly boots, defensive two, but I get faster hit recovery, maximum stamina, half freeze duration. Trump's have better chance of getting magic items. That's kind of cool, but I'm gonna sell it. Oh, let's try this again. Fireballs at the ready. Shiver armor at the ready. Get out of my way. Okay, so he's still injured. He hasn't had the chance to. Uh... That range attack he has doesn't seem to do much. Or maybe it's. Or is it ra raising bodies? I need there you go. Look of skill. Right click to learn the skill of your choice. <laughs> like how it says that in the description. Like the in the name rather. All right. So ends Radiment. What a misguided monster. Herodric scroll. I can't carry anymore. Uh, I don't need this. These can be rearranged to uh, hold more things. Anything else? Yeah, it didn't take that. Didn't take all that much to bring him down at, in the end. I am overburdened. All right, I guess I'm uh, gonna use another scroll town portal. Try to scroll town portal and see what Atma has to say. Hello. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh man, I should have waited to buy stuff. Oh, Jaren wa oh, and Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Cool. Um, quest completed, yay! Next is the Herodric Staff. Show the scroll to Cain and Luke Lane. Okay, um, let's just wrap things up here and then I'm gonna call the day. Ah, the lost Herodric Scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have the knowledge of its meaning. Now to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages who crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with this special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrim foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Talrasha's burial chamber. And that's it, that I have to say. Okay, cool. Stay a while and listen. Identify items. How may I help you? Anything <laughs> just try this is mouse is overly sensitive. Just trying to click on the button there is just a little taxing. Anyway. Uh yeah, shield which I don't care about. This is for uh, oh it is a sorcerer's thing. Four to ten dead. Oh hey! Oh wait, I sold. I maybe I sold that uh, that shield too hastily there. Where'd it go? Oh man, can't get it back. Oh, because this four to ten damage, two to eight damage. So this actually does more damage, and it's a one-handed weapon. So I can I can use a shield. Oh. Plus ten to life. 11% damage taken goes to mana. Hey, that sounds that sounds pretty nice. But I'll lose my bonus attack rating and my bonus cold damage or if I uh, if I use that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Like I'm better protected with this. Like this is my dish it out staff. This is my take it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm sure he's out on this. Maybe I'll give it a try for a bit. And then just repair. That was expensive to repair. Hmm. Yeah, the match games are the more expensive ones to repair. Yeah, if I'm gonna have a hand free, I should have a shield in there. Gosh darn it, what? <sighs> One time I could have used a shield, I just just sold it right away. Um, ooh, gauntlets. Uh, okay. Um, guess I might as well put this to use. Um, or maybe I should wait and put it to use when I hit level 18. That would have made more sense. Oops. Oh well. Um, uh, maybe, I will, maybe, maybe I will grab lightning. Like, actually get it. Because um, then, um, yeah, you know, just for the sake of keeping the versatility of my, my weapons, my, my, keep my options open. Um, I'm just going to make that F3. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try this thing out. See how it how it fares. Um, where's Jaren? He's around. He's in front of the, oh, there's the pal there's the palace. <laughs> Hello. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. Drogna and I have concluded that the dark wanderer who passed through here re recently was Diablo himself. Dragon believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Herodric mage Talraja keeps Bale imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Dragon is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talraja's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb, may be ready when you do. What do you have to say? You may not pass. You may not pass. You may not pass. Okay, fine. My Talisha's tomb. Huh, yeah, yeah, here's the, here's the, sets up the whole of Act 2 here. Search the halls of the dead under the dry hills for the cube. Search the, the maggot layer under the far waste for the shaft. Search the claw viper temple for the headpiece. And it's just, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this seems like a good note to end on. I completed a quest, did my little introduction to Act 2. Um, I want to find the Herodric Cube and merge all of these rejuvenation potions into full rejuvenation potions, because those are like the truly life-saving uh, things. Um, oh yeah, I can just do this. There you go. I can carry both. Um, yeah, at some point I need to find a shield and... Uh, so I have a shield. Um, but that's for another time. So yeah, until next time. <laughs>